Hi, my name is Henry Neal. I'm an Austin College student in Dr. Healy's Mammalody course, and I'll be searching for the inclusive mammal species called squirrels. Squirrels are a part of the rodent family and called Cirridae. General morphology of the squirrels in the family of Cirridae is long incisors with a gap between the incisor and premolars called a diastema. Some species in the family uses countershading to protect itself from predators from the ground or up in the air. Countershading is a difference in coloration on a mammal. In this case, the squirrel has a white bottom to reflect the color in the sky for any predators that would be beneath it. The other way, the top is dark brown or a tannish color, so the squirrel can blend into the dirt or the ground to camouflage itself from predators in the sky. The ground squirrels have the morphology of having short legs, strong claws, small round mammal ears, and short or medium long tails. They have hind legs. So they can get an advantage against their predators with a burst of speed given off their little rodent feet. This adaption with the hind legs probably came from the increasing stress from their predators and adapted to their speed in hunting devices. Ground squirrels are pulled throughout North Africa, Central Europe, Eastern Europe, North and East Asia, Sub Saharan Africa, and Central Asia, and as well as North America. They're not, however, present in Southeast Asia or North or South America. North America alone hosts more than 70 species of ground squirrels. The Arctic ground squirrel is the only species that is found both in Asia and North America. Here are some examples of ground squirrels that are luckily near me where I live in Sherman, Texas, which is North Texas. There is the rock squirrel, 13 line squirrel, Texas antelope squirrels, spotted ground squirrels, eastern fox squirrels, and the Rio Grande ground, ground squirrels. The behavior of these ground squirrels are very interesting and intriguing. Typically in the spring, the ground squirrel population at Austin College campus spends most of their time running around in green areas, climbing up trees, eating nuts, and reburrowing and burrowing nuts they store over the harsh winter of northern Texas. When the ground squirrels are near another ground squirrel, they typically ignore each other and go mind their own business, but sometimes it has been saw, seen that they do sometimes act territorial with their food. The ground squirrels on the campus love to chase each other around either on the grass or up in the trees. You gotta watch out for those nuts. When encountering these magnificent creatures, you gotta take caution since they are very alert to predators since almost anything that is an omnivore carnivore would love to eat them. Here's some live footage of a big bear trying to get close to the ground squirrels with filming them without them running away. These creatures are fast and very nimble to allow them to escape from predators or just a simple squirrel thing. On a very rare occasion, if you walk down a walkway with trees overhanging the walkway, you might get pelted with some nutshells from above fire jet squirrels. This might just be a behavioral waste control for the squirrels in the trees. They just generally see me as a big target and practice things for their aim. Please enjoy some of these live footage of random squirrels running around our campus and trying to run away from me. This video was informative and nice. Thank you, Dr. Healy, for teaching me about mammalogy, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.